lately, you, your book's been getting some buzz, particularly around that 1998 draft. I'm just going to start right with it because in the book, you allege that you told Ryan Leaf, your client, or advised him that maybe he should miss a meeting with then Colts coach Jim Mora to try to manipulate his way into going second overall to the San Diego Chargers. Of course, that did happen, so you guys got your wish. But overall, do you think that is the furthest length that you ever went to try to get your player to the city they wanted? Well, I certainly didn't do what Eli Manning or John Elway did, which was after they'd been drafted, uh, indicate their displeasure. The, the draft was not handed down by Moses on Mount Sinai. It's not part of the U.S. Constitution. It's a control system that stops choice. So if Maggie gets drafted by the wonderful sports station up in Nome, Alaska, <laughs> yes. he would probably uh, defect. Okay. Uh, would so, I have a choice? If I had a good signing bonus, Lee, I might stay. <laughs> I'd need you as my agent. Um, they probably, if that's all true, they ought to erect a statue for me in uh, Indianapolis because they certainly got the better part of the deal, and um, and I think Denver's pretty happy too. Yeah, I can I can see in, in hindsight for sure. Bill Polian, though, the general manager of the Colts at the time, has come out had some comments that said he doesn't believe that agents do have the ability to even have any kind of input or any kind of man manipulation into where players go. What do you think of Polian's comments? Manipulation is such a nasty word. What would word. you use? What <laughs> word would you use? Uh, a player expressing his point of view about where he'd like to play. And uh, Bill Polian's been mad at agents for 30 years. Um, and, you know, I'm his special foil. So, um, uh, he's entitled to his opinion. Okay, so a little bit of sour grapes there maybe. How has the rookie salary cap affected agents and, and how they can be around draft time? It's affected it dramatically because there used to be a system for years prior to 93 where anything went in a rookie negotiation. Now from 93 to 2011 they wrote a cap but I had the first draft pick in 93, 4, and 5 in the draft, and we found voidable years and void buybacks and all sorts of ways to sort of get around the cap. So rookies still got massive packages. This new cap is a hard cap, and essentially my daughter could negotiate the contracts because <laughs> they're essentially slotted. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time only on SI.com. We'll see you there.